Harlan Versch, Illuminated One. Mercenary Morwin character solo. Hesitation leads to compromise. No hand can stay the judgment of the righteous. Harlan Versch. Harlan Versch is among the f- most formidable soldiers ever trained by the Order of Illumination, empowered by the Sanctium to root out and destroy spiritual threats to the Morwin faith. The Order operates both openly and surreptitiously in Signar, Kador, and Ord. Versch has fought this hidden war for nearly 20 years, cleansing the world of all manner of insidious and inhuman abomination. He has made a name for himself as a tireless servant of his faith, who hunts down infernal Thamorites, filthy Crixians, and renegade necromancers. Lately, however, the uncompromising ruthlessness with which he executes his duties has drawn ire from within the order itself. Even as a child, Versh was a joyless person of fearsome faith. He performed backbreaking labor to provide for his family and found peace only in the church. This stern youth kept almost entirely to himself, due mostly to his self-righteousness and intolerance for the flaws of others. Versh longed to devote himself and his life to his faith, but refused to join a priesthood he judged too passive in its acceptance of corrupt weakness. Versh came to the attention of the Order when he single-handedly tracked down and destroyed a cabal of Thamorites operating on the outskirts of the mountain village he called home. Among the, his alleged victims were several minor land nobles, and Versh was sentenced to hang. The local vicarate council intervened to spare his life and soon began testing his faith and his will. Finding him to be an excellent candidate, they immediately encouraged him to enlist in the Order of Illumination. Verse was trained with pistol, sword, and the holy verses best employed against infernal practitioners and set about to bring them to justice. He was unrelenting, willing to hound infernalists to the ends of Cain itself. His fervor eventually drove him to act without consulting his superiors, often taking actions far in excess of his orders. This culminated in a series of executions he performed without authority, casting final judgment on alleged witches without the order's blessing. Though almost all of the individuals were later proven to be infernalists, the order could not tolerate Versh's rogue behavior any longer and cast him out entirely. Verse continued to serve the Church of Mara on his own terms, using his blessed quad iron pistol against any enemy of the faith or his own stringent sensibilities. The Order knows he continues to act in their service, and edicts from the highest officials of the Order have instructed subordinates not to interfere with him. So long as Verse succeeds in erasing those guilty of practicing black magic, he remains unfettered by the laws of men, a pure weapon against evil. Hello fellow Warmer Horde fans, if you enjoyed this video make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below and hit that bell notification to let you know when I drop my next video. Also if you're still new to Warmer Hordes make sure to check out my other Warmer Horde lore videos found in both the description and on screen. Thank you and enjoy your day.